So, eto na. Pag-uusapan na natin yung most talk about series of the week. Recently guys, ang Xiaomi nag-release sila ng apat na Redmi Note 10 series. Which is actually medyo madami than usual. Hey guys, it's your Tagal Mary and welcome back to my channel. Ito na naman tayo pag-uusapan natin yung pinakasikat na series from Xiaomi which is the Redmi Note series. Last year, it was the 9 series and of course, this year, ito na ang 10 series. Again, as I said earlier, apat ang nirelease nila during their global event. Meron tayong Redmi Note 10 Pro, Redmi Note 10S, Redmi Note 10 5G, and of course, the Redmi Note 10. At yun nga, ang meron tayo ngayon at ang pag-uusapan natin. Obviously, ang Redmi Note 10 Pro yung pinakamahal sa kanilang apat, at ang pinakamura or yung pinaka-affordable sa kanilang apat naman ay itong Redmi Note 10. You might be thinking parehas ang Redmi Note 10 5G compared to the Redmi Note 10. Ang difference lang nila ay yung isa ay 5G capable at yung isa ay hindi. Apparently, hindi may mga difference pa rin sila like the chipset. Yung 5G may higher refresh rate, ito naman wala. And yeah, pag-uusapan natin yung mga yan sa mga susunod na araw in case man na i-release yung apat dito sa atin sa Philippines. But so far, isa ang sigurado which is the Redmi Note 10. The box is very straightforward. Actually, yung itsura niya, katulad pa rin naman sa Redmi Note 9 series. Mukhang meron tayong medyo may pagka-blue na color. We have here yung model mismo and I'm guessing meron tayong blue and white color but what I have is sadly, hindi yung dalawa because what I got is the black version. Let's open it. Ayan na. Ito na yung phone natin mismo and alisan na natin siya. Actually, ang dami kong gustong sabihin sa phone na to. Alam niyo naman, pag Note series ng Xiaomi, mataas talaga ang expectations natin. Meron tayong maliit na box and inside this, andito yung ating panundot or the SIM ejector tool. No paperwork kasi yung phone na meron ako, this is not the retail unit. Meron din tayong jelly case, a 33 watt fast charging power brick, and Siyempre, yung USB Type-C charging cable natin na merong orange accent sa loob. So, Redmi Note 10. First impressions muna. Actually, una ko agad hinanap yung fingerprint sensor kasi wala siya sa likod. Sabi ko, wala rin sa gilid. So, unang-una ko agad naisip, it has an AMOLED display which is tama naman ako doon. Pero ang mali ako, hindi siya or wala siyang in-display fingerprint sensor. Bakit? Kasi guys, side-mounted siya, although hindi siya yung traditional side-mounted fingerprint sensor na nakalubog kasi this time, nakaangat siya. So, hindi mo talaga akalain na fingerprint sensor pala yung nasa gilid. So, ano-ano yung dapat mong i-expect sa smartphone na to? Unang-una, 6.43 inch AMOLED display. Meron siyang Qualcomm Snapdragon 678, a 48 megapixels quad camera setup, and a whopping 5,000 mAh battery capacity. So, let's talk about muna the design. Obviously, you might find my Redmi Note 10 kind of boring kasi it's black. <laughs> Nothing, you know, special. It's obviously made of plastic or polycarbonate plastic. But, the camera setup, it looks very different. Mukha siya, guys, premium. Kahit na, obviously, yung price niya hindi naman din ganun ka-premium. And kung mapapansin nyo, very similar siya sa camera setup ng Mi 11. Although, kung pagkatabi natin, hindi naman sobrang parehas, pero there are similarities. Alam ko nag guess niya yung point ko. So, let's have a tour, guys, dito sa Redmi Note 10 sa mga buttons niya. Meron siyang speaker sa ibabaw, may air blaster, and isang microphone. Alam naman natin, kapag Xiaomi, kilala talaga yan na nagbibigay ng IR blaster para sa ng IR blaster for you to be able to use your smartphone as a remote. Sa Canon, meron siyang volume rocker and again, a power button that doubles as a side-mounted fingerprint sensor, a SIM tray na dual SIM and expandable via micro SD card. Below, headphone jack, isa pang microphone, USB Type-C port at speaker grill. For the fingerprint sensor, it was actually accurate and fast. Consistent din naman siya, but hindi siya yung sobrang bilis na iniisip nyo. It's not this fast. Wow! <laughs> Papakita ko sa inyo yung sinasabi ko. It's not snappy. But I like it. I like how they did it. Again, kakaiba kasi nga hindi siya yung usual na alam niyo yun, medyo nakalubog. Now, let's talk about the display. Ang sabi ko kanina, meron siyang 6.43-inch 
AMOLED.display which is something new because una sa lahat, it's AMOLED. And yeah, it is the first in its series. Aabot ng 1,100 yung kanyang peak brightness at ang kanyang screen resolution ay 2400 by 1080 pixels. So yes, it is full HD and AMOLED display. Ang sarap pakinggan sa tenga, I know. At syempre, masarap din siya sa mata. Although I must say, akala ko pag sinabing AMOLED, automatic in display fingerprint sensor ang meron niyan. Apparently, hindi naman pala lahat. Parang naging norm na kasi siya sa tech industry, pero it's good na rin na hindi siya in-display kasi feeling ko mas mabilis talaga ang side-mounted kaysa sa in-display when it comes to budget to mid-range devices. And isa pang good news, may protection rin tayo sa display ng Redmi Note 10 kasi it has a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection. And for the colors, yung tamang tawag sa kanila, it's Onyx Gray, which is what I have right now. It will also be available in Pebble White and Lake Green. The phone weighs 178.8 grams, which is actually mabigat yun guys for a plastic smartphone. Pero gets naman din kasi it really has a huge battery capacity na 5,000 mAh. And kahit na polycarbonate plastic lang yung ginamit, Sa kanya, it, it feels plastic naman talaga. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels very sturdy. And parang balancing-balance rin yung weight distribution sa kanya. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, may mga phone kasi na mas mabigat minsan yung ditong part. Kasi nga, mas madami minsan yung components on this part of the phones because of its camera. And in addition, it also has an IP53 splash proof resistance. Ngayon, kamusta ang display? Actually guys, for me, yung display okay naman. Accurate ang colors niya. It has deep blacks. Kaso lang, medyo nabother lang ako na medyo may kakapalan yung side bezels natin. Lalo-lalo na yung chin niya. Pero natuwa ako dahil yung punch hole niya is located at the center which is not new na rin siguro dahil sa Redmi Note 9 series, ganito rin naman ang style or placement. What I also like about this phone is dual speakers na ang meron ito. Hindi lang basta-basta dual speakers, meron siyang high resolution audio certification. And I know gusto nyo marinig yung audio quality ng Redmi Note 10. So, ipaparinig ko yan sa inyo after this clip. pang performance naman tayo. Alam nyo, this video is not that in-depth obviously kasi kakakuha ko lang ng phone kagabi. But I did experience naman na device and I had enough time for me to give you my initial review. Again, for the chipset, it has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 678, 2.2 GHz octa-core CPU with Adreno 612 GPU. And uh, meron siyang three variants actually. 4 GB RAM with 64 GB of internal storage, 4 GB RAM with 128 GB of internal storage, or a 6 GB of RAM with 128 GB of internal storage. And it also has the UFS 2.2 storage. Actually, ang 2-2 score pa lang niya, impressive na. It's a budget phone, pero na-exceed niya yung naging ang 2-2 score ng mga previous budget phones na review natin for this year 2021. Ang naging result niya ay 242,900 95, which is actually not bad. So, kamusta naman kaya ang magiging real-life gaming performance ng smartphone na to? Ngayon, usapang camera naman. Actually, may nakakatawang part lang dito. Sa camera setup niya sa likod, may nakalagay na ultra premium. Which is actually a really big word for Xiaomi to put. Nilagay talaga nila yun guys dito sa camera setup. So, tignan natin kung ultra premium ba ang kinalabasan na talaga ng photos niya. Okay, to be exact, meron siyang 48 megapixels na main camera, 8 megapixels ultra wide angle camera, 2 megapixels macro lens, at 2 megapixel depth sensor. At para sa front camera, 13 megapixels naman ang meron tayo. So, opening the camera app, bubungan sa atin of course yung kanyang auto mode in where we can choose between 1 times, 0.6 times or yung ultra wide niya or the 2 times. It also has a video mode. Pwede tayo mag-take ng videos using the ultra wide, but we cannot switch between these options while taking the videos already. Meron din siyang pro mode, portrait mode, wherein we can adjust of course the bokeh lens. And when we go to the more, meron siyang night mode, 48 megapixels option, a short video, panorama, documents, slow motion, and time lapse. And yes, for video recording, guys, pwede tayong mag-shoot 
hanggang 4K resolution para sa rear camera and para naman sa front camera, kayang-kaya ng Redmi Note 10 hanggang 1080p resolution. Actually, for the set of cameras that we have for this smartphone, it's your typical set of cameras. Nothing really that special. Pero maganda naman yung naging resulta ng ating mga photos for my initial verdict. sa naging result ng kanyang videos. Stable naman siya except when I used the 4K resolution na. Now, here's my sample video using the 1080p at 30fps. As you can see, it's more stabilized and hindi na tayo masyadong mauga kahit na naglalakad tayo. Ito guys yung aking studio. I'm currently editing this video and nagkakape lang ako. Grabe ang dami kong ine-edit and yeah, that's it. I gave you the current situation of my studio. Makala talaga siya sa totoong buhay. At ito yung TV na may wala pa siyang patungan. So guys, here is my sample video using the 4K at 30fps of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10. As you can see, it's much better, much clearer. I actually like the quality of this one. Kaso lang, makikita nyo sobrang, alam nyo yun, hindi siya ganun ka-stabilize. Expected naman na rin to, katulad ng ibang smartphones kapag naka 4K. Now, for the battery and charging, meron siyang 5,000mAh of battery capacity paired with 33W fast charging. 33W paired with 5,000mAh is the perfect combination. I mean, 33W is not compared to 65W, obviously, but for a smartphone at this price range, that is what you call bang for your buck. Kung makalala nyo, last year, ang Redmi Note 9 meron siyang 5,000 20 mAh, which is 20 lang naman yung lamang. Pero kasi 18 watt fast charging lang yung dati. Ngayon, 33 watt na, which is a really big upgrade talaga. Actually, so far, switching between applications on this smartphone opening games, and yung overall UI experience ko sa kanya, sobrang naging okay talaga. By the way, bago ko pa pala makalimutan, it already has the MIUI 12 based on Android 11. Alam nyo guys, kung ang magiging price point ng Redmi Note 10 ay nasa 9 to 12,000 pesos, sobrang sulit talaga ng smartphone na to. There are so many smartphones that I've tried na ranging from 10 to 15,000 pesos, pero hindi ganito kaganda yung specs na ibinigay. It may not have a 5G connectivity, pero consider this na lang, kung hindi ka naman nakatira sa lugar na merong 5G network, or kaya naman ng mga pinupuntahan mong lugar ay wala rin namang 5G network or hindi pa siya accessible, there's no point of getting a smartphone with 5G connectivity. So yeah, that's it guys for my Redmi Note 10 video. Let me give you my initial pros and cons. Siyempre, unahin natin yung upgrade sa AMOLED display. Guys, from IPS to AMOLED, ang sarap niya talaga sa mata at ang sarap niya rin pakinggan. Although, you might be expecting a higher refresh rate, but since we have a wide variety for the Redmi Note 10 series, hindi peting lahat ng phones meron. Kung magkakaroon man tayo ng Redmi Note 10, 5G, 90Hz naman yun. So, kung gusto nyo ng higher refresh rate at 5G connectivity, go for that phone. Another pro is, of course, the 33 watt fast charging. It's a huge upgrade talaga from before na 18 watt fast charging lang. Sana diba lahat nagbabago? I also really liked how they did the side-mounted fingerprint sensor and of course, a very competitive chipset. What I didn't like lang on this phone or the con is probably the design. Hindi ko masyadong nagustuhan yung kulay na meron ako. It's also a smartphone na very smudge magnet. Sobrang dugat niya nang antignan ngayon. But if you're this type of person who doesn't really care about its outer appearance at mas gusto mo yung medyo mas powerful pero murang smartphone, then maybe this won't affect you. So yeah, that is it guys for my, again, Redmi Note 10 video. Sana magawan pa natin ng video yung kanyang Redmi Note 10 Pro. And for the official PH prices, ilalagay ko na lang yan sa description box kapag meron na tayo. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Again, it's your Tagal Mary and see you on my next video. Bye!